Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this water heater install video. I'm going to be putting in another water heater in my RV. This time an electric water heater. The original water heater for taking showers and doing dishes and all that stuff for the RV never worked. And the hole where it was installed is starting to rot out the outside of the RV. So I just took it out, plugged it up, and bypassed it. So I already didn't have cold water. I have not since uh, I bought the RV five years ago. At the sinks, I do have an instant tankless hot water heater for the showers, which works great. But I didn't feel like moving that or plumbing that in or figuring out a new vent system for that. It works just great in the shower, so I'll keep using that for just for taking showers. Though at some point I would like to tie that into the RV somehow. But for right now, I just went with one of these mini tanks. It's only 120 bucks cheaper than one of those propane RV water heaters. They have one of these installed up in the hobby house. It's connected to a shower, so I think it actually can... Uh, I think you, you can actually take a shower off of this thing, but I just want it to do dishes. I am so tired of washing dishes in cold water. I've taken hot water from the shower out of that thing, but it's just a pain in the butt. And I don't... It makes it less likely that I'm going to do dishes. So just to have hot water at the taps would be freaking awesome. It is 2.7 gallons, 120 volt, 12 amp, 1440 watts. So that should be plenty low enough for my smaller inverter generator to handle it um, and definitely my bigger generator if I need to run either of those that's fine just so I can have uh, some hot water to do my dishes and maybe take a shower I'll experiment with that later but this was a big thing just having hot water at my taps also for washing my hands in the back here so I'm hoping this is small enough to go into the bed if not I'll try and squeeze this back in where the old water heater was cause, because there's a little more room back there so I got it off Amazon. I'll put a link below. Mini water heater. So this is my current setup with the only water heater I have. I just run the line from the hot and cold valves for the shower head and that's tapped into here. And then that goes off to the new shower head that actually came with this thing. Um, so I just turn on the cold water, or either or, it doesn't really matter, but I just turn on the cold water and then fidget with these things until I get the temperature just right. It is a little finicky, there's no tank, so as soon as you turn the water low, it shuts off so it doesn't boil the water inside of it and break stuff. So there's a lot of little things with this that uh, it's really handy, but there's some trade-offs. I love it for showers because the shower, I turn on the shower and it stays pretty much at the same pressure. With sinks, turning off on and off the hot faucets, I think it's going to be a little hard on it. Sometimes when I shut off the tap here without turning this off, I usually let the water run after turning the switch off here so the cold water goes through. But if I don't and I turn off the water here and this is still running, the propane fire takes uh, about a second to shut down. And I can hear it start to boil in there. So it's just not the best option for running throughout the entire RV. I have installed a lot of full-sized water heaters, never a mini tank. This is pretty cool. Came with a manual. What it needs to happen. You got a cold line going in and a hot line going out. And then a thermal relief on the top. Needs to be connected. Nice. It's a little shorter than the box. The height of this box made me worried about the fitting issues. Got a little mount down at the the bottom of the box there for hanging it on the wall. There's that thermal relief if that gets. Uh, this thing overheats, so this starts to open. So you need to connect this or expect a, a bit of a mess if this thing ever gets up too high. That's a fairly nice unit, I like it. So yeah, you can leave that just like that if it ever gets really hot. Sometimes these will just leak because of the temperature. Some people set these up really high. So, fairly easy deal. Uh, kind of looks like these are just about the right size to reuse the old fittings, which would be awesome. Uh, I will, however, need to go find me uh, a threaded to barbed fitting so I can just hook up a hose. If that ever relieves pressure, then I can spit it outside the RV and not make a mess.
All right, this is just a little too tall to go near the bed. The case itself is exactly the same height, but the fittings there. It's not gonna work. I don't think I can try and squeeze that up in there, so it's just gonna have to sit outside the bed for now. That is where the old hot water heater was. Here's the lines for it. Hooked those together so the hot can bypass. And put these over here to just get them out of the way. But maybe I could just... Maybe those will just go right over there just fine. And these do look like the same fittings. Awesome. So I could just swap these right over. And just put the hot water heater over here or something. It's you got room, I guess. You're hanging on the wall, maybe. Just need to run these over somehow. Um, yeah, I can make that work. I think there's enough gap here. And the bed is closed. Actually, it's just enough gap. Easy enough. Famous last words. I need to turn the water off. Okay, so that's the line coming in from the pump. That'll need to go to the cold side. And this is the line running out to the sink. So that'll go on the hot. Alright, that kind of works. I need to keep an eye on those hoses when I close the bed to make sure they're not getting pinched. But as a temporary install, I think this will work just fine. At a later time, I'll find an another place to mount this when I get some... when I get a bunch of new water line to replace everything in this RV, which I really want to do. Got one of these cheap plastic uh, floor mats. Just in case there's any leaks, I can see it, and it'll keep it in one area, so I can clean it up. Alright, pretty much all done. Got that secured with some of the uh, some of that nylon plumber strap just to help keep that from sliding around when I'm driving and to keep the uh, lines from getting snapped. Definitely a temporary install and not the most convenient location so at a later time I will re reinstall this with some new water line in a new location. Also got the water lines secured up here Pretty easy job. That's probably the easiest thing I've done in quite some time. Just had to relocate those lines. And then I will just use an extension cord for now until I reinstall this down the road. So let's get some water in there first. Do not ever want to plug in a water heater without water in it. You'll burn it up very quickly. Okay, flip the pump on. I'm going to crack a hot tap here. Check for leaks as it's filling. Looks like we got just a little dribble right there. Let's crank that down just a tad. I might have to replace these fittings. They didn't look too great. Not in the best shape. Okay, just a little. Okay, that seemed to work. 
Filled up. All right, filled up and pressurized. That's uh. Yeah, there's some leakage. Let's try giving that a wiggle. See if it can help seat the plastic, but uh. Yeah, I think these are just not. Probably gonna need to be replaced. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, hot side leak is stopped for sure. Slow leak is just a super slow. So I'm at the point where I don't really want to tighten this anymore. These plastic fittings, these compression fittings. Um, so I'll try loosening. So the next step is to try and loosen that. Or if this old compression fitting is just a little too gnarled up, I, I can also try using a little Teflon tape, though I shouldn't have to on compression fittings. Um, but it does sometimes help. Okay, loosening it helped. You can definitely over tight fittings in plumbing. They uh, will warp and cause leaks. So if you ever have a leak that just doesn't seem to go away, try loosening it. Not to the point it's loose, just maybe take it back an eighth of a turn at a time. Keep an eye on it. And then wait a good 30 to 45 minutes to make sure nothing else shows up. All right, let's, let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, got a dim light showing down here. Don't know if you could see that. I'll give that a little bit of time, see how long it takes for that to turn off. Oh, that's definitely working. I can feel this cord getting pretty hot. Gonna need to uh, get a beefier extension cord until I uh, get a good plug installed. Feel the lines warming up a little bit. And that's set to the ideal setting. It's got a minimum to a maximum dial here, but it's got a ideal setting where it clicks into and keeps it right there. So I've just been trying that to see how, that, see how I like that. You can also crank it up if you want, but I want just to, I just want to be able to do my dishes right now. Okay, it is now 3.54 and I just noticed the light is off. So, that must have gotten the temp, or at least the, uh, ooh yeah, that's, that relief valve is feeling pretty warm. So let's see what the ideal setting feels like. So yeah, not even 30 minutes to heat that thing up to the ideal temperature setting. All right, let's see what we got. Cold. Cold. Oh, there's some air. Cold. Still cold, getting warm. Warmer, oh my God, it's warm. <laughs> okay, that is like hot warm. It's like perfect temp for washing your hands. That is so freaking weird, having hot water at this tap after five years. Huh. Oh, that's so nice. Oh yeah, and I got some dishes to do for sure. That is so weird. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it at ideal temperature, because that's, that's 30 minutes to heat up two gallons of water, and I can do all my dishes. I'm so ready to do these dishes. Bye. Yeah, pretty funky setup we got going on in here, but uh, that's what we do on this channel. We make it work. I'll figure out all the proper... find a proper place to install that later on. Right now I got dishes to do. Let's try the bathroom sink. Cold, hot, or warm, hot. 
That is so awesome. Some hot water hand washing for once. Ah oh, yes, that's more like it. It's also gonna make things uh, easier for cleaning in here too. Going around wiping down the surfaces and washing my rags and stuff. Ooh, I do love the smell of this lemon and sage dial. God, my hands have never felt this clean, I feel like. I mean, I wash my hands, it's just not the same when you're using cold water. Crazy. Alright, that always feels good getting that done. Need to find a new spot to put my dishes when they're drying out. Get me one of those racks from Walmart. Those drying racks. Right now I'm just putting out a clean towel and letting things dry on that. It has been, uh, it has actually been a full day since I said I was going to do dishes, so giving me plenty of time to keep an eye on that and boy that does a good job of keeping the heat in I never see that turn on except for when I turn on the sink so it's pretty efficient as far as I can tell and I, I'm loving it kept a uh, constant heat throughout the uh, dishwashing and um, I cannot believe the difference that makes just having warm water doing your dishes something I have not had in five years I love it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.